Hi, everybody. I'm so glad a lot of you are here today. And uh, some of you I can see, welcome back. I know some of your, fam uh, your names are getting so familiar. I feel like I know all of you. Um, so I'm just going to get started really quickly so that we can spend some time at the end uh, kind of answering some questions and things. So if you just uh, want to keep your questions to what I'm talking about today, that would be great. If you have any other questions related to, you know, what should I choose and, you know, confusion with your courses, things like that, anything else, please write in to us at uh, guideme at univariety.com and we will be happy to answer your questions. Okay. All right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how it's important that you have a schedule and uh, parents, I hope that you are listening to me and I, before I put this together, um, I did talk to a few uh, a few parents who have put schedules together for their for their children just because it's just so much easier you know for them it's a little bit more organized and I just want to go through a few things that you need to keep in mind as parents and students when you are putting together a schedule so the whole idea is that by the end of the day when you finish your day you need to feel like you had a really productive day that's the whole idea of doing this it's so easy you know during this pandemic during this lockdown when we're at home first day second day is super exciting and then you start to get bored and then I have people who write in saying I don't want to watch Netflix anymore or Amazon anymore and really students how long can you be playing PUBG for right so it's so important uh, that you start to put a schedule together now when you put a schedule together parents and students it needs to be a joint effort okay it's something that you all need to sit together Together and discuss and put out there it's not something that a child does and gives it to the parent or the parent does and says here this is your schedule you will follow it it doesn't work that way it needs to be a joint effort second I think parents it's so important that you recognize your children's some of their learning styles and what I mean by that is sometimes um, when we want our children to study we try and make them follow patterns that we did right as parents so if my mother made me sit and study early in the morning I make my child sit and study early in the morning and really that's not how we should be looking at when our children need to sit down to study now if you look at like learning styles and if you look at theories of learning styles I'll tell you there are optimum or potential times that students will sit down and will be able to focus for some people it's morning time and evening time like 5 5 30 for some people it's early morning and late night for some people not early morning at all only late night for some people it's the afternoon so there are times that you work most and that you work least and it's very important that you identify when your child's you know time to study and as a parent I'm sure you know when that is all right uh, so things like and also where they sit to study also is important so when you're putting a schedule together you uh, sometimes it's good since you're confined to the four walls maybe change rooms or sit uh, uh, Roshni saying I cannot see anything um, but I'm here okay there's nothing to see other than me Roshni so I'm not sure what you're talking about as but as long as you can hear me you should be fine all right Roshni um, okay so basically uh, it's important to recognize some of these things where you sit in order to study time of day to study third it's important to involve a number of different activities okay so whether we can uh, whether it is uh, academics or whether it's exercise I know a lot of you teenagers sometimes don't like that word it's okay uh, maybe learning a new skill uh, maybe it's to do revision all right for your final exams uh, maybe it's some free time maybe it's to do an internship whatever it is a virtual internship there's so many uh, things that you can do in order to fill up your day so make sure that you have a variety of different types of activities all right that you can put in here now the fourth thing is important that you block out chunks of time in order to do it so ideally it's between 90 minutes and 120 minutes so about one and a half hours hours to two hours is when anybody 
whether a child whether an adult can actually sit down and focus they actually say it's um it's it's probably uh, you know like 20 25 minutes that you're fully focused when it's your whole peak time but you should be ideally be able to sit down for 90 to 120 so when you're making a schedule make sure it's in blocks of maybe one and a half or two hours set an alarm once that's over get up walk around maybe maybe do some stretches i don't know i have bands that i use like resistance bands whatever and then you know try and do something so that you can get some kind of exercise maybe play like 20 minutes of pubg you know or watch a you know a 20 minute show or a youtube thing check your insta whatever it is all right because it don't do it for too long because it takes you 30% more time to actually come back and start focusing again all right so make sure it's just for 20 minutes that you take a break so i've set up a couple of things right now put a, putting a schedule together needs to be a joint decision all right parents and students together you need to see when you are able to study children either early morning or afternoon evening like i know when my peak times are when i like to work when i can focus the most and i make sure that i do maximum number of things at that point all right third do different types of things so you don't get bored so don't put down revising physics chemistry and math from 9 in the morning to 9 in the night it's not realistic all right you need to break it down in chunks so that you can do different things and it's a great time maybe learn an instrument you know play the guitar play the piano you know whatever it might be um do something new all right and then be realistic is the last point that i want to make before saying do it in chunks be realistic all right you know yourself parents you know your children all right so i can see ankit saying okay like a gazillion times yes i'm so glad you understand what i'm trying to tell you all right so uh, dhruv i will answer your question in 2 minutes all right you're asking me what type of internship you can do sitting at home now the advantages of having a schedule first of all i think it helps you focus better i'm very old school i write things down in a book all right i do in a diary i will write what i need to do for the next day okay so it helps you focus you know that when you start your day these are the things that you need to finish it helps you to prioritize i just did a webinar on employability skills or 21st century skills being able to prioritize is a skill that you will need for the future because everything is important so you need to be able to differentiate between what is most important and then move down and start to finish your work accordingly make use of your peak times to focus and study we talked about it so they talk about like 90 minutes so you go up a little bit and then you'll start to come down by the end of your 90 minutes so keep that in mind all right and then uh it makes you aware of what to expect for the day or for the week so you know exactly how you're going to be able to study you know exactly what you need to be doing for the day or for the week and last i'm going to say it again we can keep it realistic now i just want to answer uh uh oh, ma'am also it's wrong to play pubg but can i play that's not up to me ankit you're going to have to sort that out with your mother actually all right so you're going to have to talk to her and find out if it's okay but like i said you can take a joint decision with your parents on deciding on i don't care whether you're in 9th uh, grade or whether you're in 12th grade it needs to be something that you do Uh, and make a joint decision with your parents dhruv we do offer a virtual internship program that you can do it depends on what you want to study uh, we have 18 different modules that you can choose from so you can definitely you know look at it uh and take a, if you're interested we can send you a brochure we can get someone to call you give you information you'll get a report with the different types of skills that you have in order to do that particular career and you'll also get a certificate at the end of it that is a great one that you can do sitting at home dro all right um uh, so someone's asking if i can send a recording of the session of the 6th uh i'm sure we can do that riya if you can uh I'm sure we can do that for you Ria. We'll make sure that we send you a uh, a uh, a recording of the 6th, okay? Uh I'm going to uh Pranith you were, you would like the VIP brochure, the virtual internship brochure? Sure, I can send you the brochure. Uh Ritika, you want the brochure for sure? I can do that. 
uh, Praneet, thank you for giving me your email address. Um, Sudiksha is saying, but the internship cost three thousand, not two thousand. Uh, for one, it is two thousand. Okay, and for four, it is. Ah, for three, it's four thousand. Okay, I'm losing. I'm reading and I'm trying to do something. For one, it is two thousand. For three, it is four thousand. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, is there an internship? Mania is asking me. Mania, you're back. Hi. Okay, Mania, is there an internship available for IAS officer? There's one for civil services, so for sure you can do that. Okay. Uh, can you give me information regarding IPM courses? I think you asked me this before also, Simran. I am getting actually. I put your email down. I am getting one of my counselors to send you some information about it. Okay. Um, Okay, all of you who are asking for the brochure, yes, we would be happy to send you the brochure, um, ma'am. I want the modules. I'm not sure what you mean by the modules, Dhruv, but basically there are 16 different modules, and what they are, there's an industry expert that's talking about it, and he tells you. Uh, so, say for example, you take fashion designing. I'm not sure what you want to study, but I'm going to pick fashion designing. Okay, and uh, there will be a fashion designer telling me about the job. Telling me what they do in the job, what kind of designs they do, what kind of skills are needed, what kind of jobs are out there. So every module will be about one of these particular things, and there are assessments also. So most likely after each module, there will be an assessment that you need to do. So maybe you'll have to design something, and you'll have to put it out there. And then finally, the report will tell you whether you have the skill and the aptitude to do it. Okay. Uh, Ria, okay, I can do that. All right, bye bye, Parmeet. I hope to see you later. Uh, brochure, all of you. Uh, Vatsal, really good question. How to remove laziness if I'm not able to? Okay, I know a lot of us sometimes uh, struggle with this, uh, but it's so. That's why I think it's so important that you have a schedule. Because if you don't have a schedule, then you can just lie in bed all day, and you're trying to or pretending to study lying in bed, and that's not going to happen. Okay, so that's why it's important. Try making a schedule for tomorrow and see how it goes. You know, sit today maybe with your mom and dad or either parent and uh, try and make one so that you can uh, so that uh, you have something to look forward to tomorrow that's the beauty of a schedule you have something that you can really look forward to to tomorrow all right uh, ankit how to remember studies any tips ma'am hey ankit i'm going to be talking about this on monday we're going to be talking about study skills i had like really good solid points for yesterday that i had written out but what you can do right now is maybe ankit one thing that you can do is uh, pick the subject that you're struggling with the most and maybe start to make your own notes i'll ask you to do those two things till i talk about it on sunday on monday okay so i hope you'll be in on monday uh, let me take some more questions any quick trip i think uh, you know i'm going to do i think i'm going to do one about how to get over procrastination or laziness because i think you know a lot of us struggle with it and so i will definitely make sure that i do something about it quick tips about it but like i said uh you you know why you get lazy or why sometimes why people procrastinate is because there's too much to do all right when people get stressed it said when they when you're too stressed you've got entrance exams coming you don't know when your final exams are you don't know what course to take for college you're so stressed your parents keep asking you have you finished have you finished have you finished and then you just don't want to do anything and you procrastinate or you just don't like anything that you're studying and everything's super boring to you okay so again i think it would be important that you make a schedule so you can put some of those stuff things you can get it out of the way right in the beginning of the day or whenever your peak time is and then you got the rest of the time to do whatever you want okay so uh so i hope i've answered your question with regards to that mohini um according to you how many hours of study is essential in class 
to uh, do, do you know what pranika you're asking me this question so i can get into trouble with your parents i can't tell you how many hours are uh, how many hours you can do but think about your average school day right how many hours do you study in school that should be the you know at least the minimum amount of hours that you can study when you're at home because when you're in school that's what you do but then you do have pe and maybe supw and whatever else you have art maybe so think of an 8 hour day or a 7 hour day but with two three you know gaps in between i think that's how much you really should be studying it also depends on how much you need to be prepared don't compare yourself to somebody else who's studying how they study and how you study is completely different so just do what is right for you okay and parents if you are listening this is a great uh, conversation to have at the end of the day i really request you as parents not to keep asking your children have you done what is in your schedule have you finished what's in your schedule you can do kind of a wrap up at the end of the day saying hey how did the schedule work you because the child is uh, accountable for it right because they helped you put it together so they are actually accountable to you to finish it up so they have no excuse to not finish anything right ideally because this is their choice so at the end of the day maybe during dinner or maybe while you're getting dinner ready or after dinner whatever it is maybe have a conversation and say hey how did your schedule go today were you able to finish off everything on it have a conversation about it okay so try and be supportive of your children while they go through this time uh so maha is asking me the same question how many hours should i spend doing and revising in a day it really depends on you and how tough you're finding your subjects uh is there any internship about uh filmmaking uh utkarsha is asking me absolutely there is okay so you should definitely think about doing a virtual internship pro uh, program utkarsha if you want details about it just put your email down and then we'll be happy or you can send me if you don't want to put your email down just uh, write on uh, guide me at univariety.com okay um okay so i'm going to definitely look at how do how uh, ma'am i do get bored during lock time okay lockdown time so yeah we're going to talk about how what better you can do during your time and how to use your time well all right uh, and how to maybe increase your concentration so there's somebody who's just asked me about that oh i love all these questions that you all are asking me how to keep ourselves tension free so the whole idea when i talk on monday about uh, study skills the whole idea is that you get you reduce the anxiety that you're going through and hopefully let me share um, navik nav navthik okay let me share my ideas on monday uh, about how to study and then see if those work any of those points work for you and if it does work then hopefully it'll reduce uh, the stress that you're going for okay um okay so drawing is ma'am is drawing sketching absolutely drawing sketching so especially for those of you who are looking at design things like that um graphic design architecture this is a great time in order for you to start putting a portfolio together so start working on it do draw drawing sketching and you know what these things you can also submit to your college when you uh when you apply you can say yes i'm going to apply for business but you know what i love to draw i love to sketch and here are some of your sketches and you send it with your application so that's something that you can do okay Uh, is writing essays a good time pass i don't think it's time pass i think it's a really good activity it helps with creative writing which is uh, being creative is a, a 21st century skill that you need so it will definitely help with that so absolutely ma'am is yesterday's web webinar scheduled geetika it's going to be on monday i'm going to do it on monday so what i was going to talk yesterday i will be doing it on monday okay um So, what kind of skill set should I focus on, Pranit? You're asking me this question. Uh, uh, before that, I just want to do. I have a format of any schedule. So, what I do have is something called educational bingo because I just talked about it. It's coming back into my head, and uh, I don't know if I can. I I can't share a picture of it. So, basically, I don't know if you all have seen bingo. A lot of schools are doing this. A lot of students are doing it. You tick off as you go. It's twenty different. print boxes in a grid and you write down one activity each 
okay one activity each that you want to do maybe for the week maybe for the day whatever it is and then you tick off as you go so that's you know a creative way in order to do a schedule uh, i can try and look for something for you savali that will work what kind of skill set should i focus on pranit it would be great if you can start looking at some soft skills that you can do so like communication skills or teamwork being creative is a skill that you can do maybe just focus on creativity how about that think about what you can do to be creative and stand out okay okay so um is making sketches yes i often get on which i often get confused on which subject to study first and waste a lot of time deciding any so uh, kushi what you can do is start with a subject that you're struggling with maybe if you're a smart student and all your subjects are easy then take uh, the subject that you haven't touched for in a while okay so the idea is uh, kushi that you make a schedule today for tomorrow don't get up in the morning and try and make it okay you need to be making today for tomorrow all right so uh, that's something that can help you in order to do is yesterday is well, okay i already read that uh self drive wow a lot of you are struggling with motivation i can see okay okay so i'm going to have to tweak next week's uh, uh sessions a little bit and i will i will be touching on some of these things that you all have been talking about okay um i have online classes from 9 to 3 Uh, pm how can i plan my day so richita if you can tell me what kind of classes you are doing are you doing school are you doing entrance test prep what are you doing then i can help you uh, it's very important that you take a break from 3 to maybe 5 or 6 and then if you need to study more then you can do that all right um okay uh, do you have a virtual internship program regarding journalism Okay, I'm going to have to look this up. Uh I don't think we have journalism. But there are many many others that you can take. Uh is that Okay, I'm going to have to just look really quickly. Okay? Sorry. Since you're asking me the question, I should know this by heart, right? Because I tell you every day what courses there are. I read it out to you 15 times. okay uh there's uh if uh, those of you who are still there here are the career options for the virtual internship program hospitality law filmmaking dentistry architecture fund management marketing fashion designing graphic designing chartered accounting computer engineering psychology family business mechanical engineering medicine teaching civil services and ethical hacking so i'm sorry no journalism sorry about that okay aviation no ritika i think you've already asked me that question no we don't have an aviation okay uh when we get a schedule we have to finish on time so it creates tension so how to reduce so diksha so like i said in the beginning the the schedule has to be set by you so you decide how many hours so maybe you need one three hours for something two hours for something one hour for something but it's really up to you how you do it so give yourself enough time in order to finish the task that you have set for yourself you don't need to be tensed because this is your own schedule it's to help you organize your time so there is no question of tension here if you don't finish something you will put it on your schedule for the next day okay uh, somebody asked me um a question about any activity to be confident ha huh. uh, right now it would all need to be if you're having virtual classrooms it would have to be things like that uh, so pre- uh, public speaking skills is a great way in order for you to learn how to be confident if your school has clubs in order for you to initiate and maybe be the leader of your club or the student council things like that head boy head girl prefect all of those increases your you know your level of confidence so anywhere where you're standing in front of a crowd uh but it just depends on what you mean by confidence your own confidence or confidence to speak to people so i might have to ask you more questions about that ania i will answer your questions i'm going to do it as a webinar things that you can do in a lockdown so don't worry okay um 
I'm just reading through some of these questions. Uh, can you tell me, shall we divide our hours by subjects? Yes, Kirti, that's a great way to do it. But I also want you to do other types of activities, like a little bit of exercise, okay? Work out, there's tons of like five, 10 minute exercises or just uh, relax your body a little bit. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, do something that you're not used to, all right? Because I don't want you to break or pull anything. So just, you know, depends on the kind of exercise you already do. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Today you asked me very, very interesting questions. Okay. I just want to say how to enrich students' English creative writing skills and speaking skills. Okay. I think uh, so. If you look, there is, um, I think there are courses that are available right now. ISDI is now doing a course. I think one of them is public speaking skills. And I think that uh, that's what I would recommend for you, Jairam. If you are looking to uh, make your skills better, then that would be a great way to do it, okay? Uh, but when you go back into school, try however much. If your school has like a newsletter, you should be writing into it. There are various blogs. You can start your own blog uh, where you can be writing different things. So those are the ways that you can do creative writing. But start with short things, okay, small things. Um, and then you can go on to writing uh, bigger articles and things like that. Uh, so yes, uh, Jay Lakshmi, you're asking me a really good question. Um, maybe another um, another thing that I can do, a uh, webinar that I can do is about skills that you'll need as teenagers, 21st century skills, the basic ones. And maybe I can give you some ideas because a lot of you are asking me about it, maybe about how you can make it better. So maybe that's something that I can do for you. Okay. But it definitely is a great idea in order for you to start working on your skills. Uh, will it be too late to pursue a little different career after completing my engineering? Uh, no, it depends. You can't be a doctor right now, but you can definitely move careers. There's lots of opportunities at Tarva. So then definitely if you need help with that, we're happy to help you brainstorm. We can help you through that. With so many online classes, pressure is exerted on ice due to extended screen time. It often leads to headache. What can I do about it? Oh, maybe take breaks. You know, once you finish with your class, you shouldn't be looking at your phone or watching TV or watching Netflix or Amazon anymore, Cushy. You should just give your eyes rest after your online classes. I know what you mean. Some of us work in front of our laptops all day and it does, you know, cause stress for your eyes. But you, it's important that you take breaks. Even through your online classes, you should be able to get up and, you know, just move your eyes away from your screen at least for at least 10 minutes. Okay. Is there a way that we can earn money as teenagers using our skills? Mm, I don't think so. You shouldn't be. Okay. I'm in grade 12 and I really want to improve my skills. So you can improve your skills, but you don't need to be earning money in grade 12. All right. It's too young. You're too young to do that. You what you should do is make, uh, uh, you know, better the skills that you already have. OK, I'm going to take two more questions and then I'm going to stop. Um, OK, uh, Rachna, I'm going to write into you and maybe we can brainstorm about what you can do. Um, and then. OK, there's Gyan who says he's learning from Odema, uh, Odemi and uh, Udemy and Ude Udemy and YouTube. And he's learning a lot of things like doing video editing and stuff like that. Amazing. Good. That's what you need to be doing. Keep doing it. There's lots of free courses out there. Coursera, Udemy, all of these are places that you can go in order to learn skills. Hey, another one that you can go on to for some of these skills that you all have been talking about, Khan Academy. So get on there. There's lots of skills that you can do, uh, uh, that you can learn. All right. Um, all right. So. Okay, I can. Uh, Churanshi, you asked me a question about JE and 12th. Um, I'm not sure about this, but let me look into it and I can get back to you on it. Normally, it's either or. They either look at 12th or JE scores. I'm not sure if there's any place that's looking at both. Okay. Um, 
Okay, Mania, you're asking me a question. Uh, I'm going to get someone from our wonderful content team to get in touch with you and give you some, you know, tips on how you can start your own blog. All right. Okay, take Jeram, your question uh, about how uh, to enrich. Uh, uh, cre wait, wait, wait. Easiest way to learn English, and you asked me two questions, Jeram. How to enrich students' English creative writing and speaking skills? Uh, I think the more practice you uh, you you know you give your writing and speaking skills, the better you will become, uh, and it is doable. Trust me, I've I've seen children. I had a boy who I worked with who came from Japan, and he knew no English. But by the time, like two three years of just practicing and learning how to speak, he was so fluent. And and it's the same thing, the kind of skill that you, I mean, the kind of practice that you need need to use for creative writing. Um, that's the only way you can start to instill you know different kind of ideas in your brain you need to open out all of those you know different centers in your brain and things need to go pop up up in your head so that you know your creative streak can come to play we all have a creative streak whether you like to believe it or not so the more you put it into practice the more you put it into use the better you will become and then you want to know what's the best quickest and easiest way to start learning a foreign language now i'm not too familiar with this but it's something that i was going to research tomorrow for another student but i'm pretty sure there are things that are available online that you can go into free resources or maybe a paid resource it depends on what language you're looking at it's also great if you have a friend who actually speaks it because you can practice it the best way to learn a language is practicing trust me I've been trying to practice my Hindi, which I don't do, but I knew if I spoke it more often, I'd be better at it. All right. Uh, so that's the same thing that you need to be doing. So a lot of you have asked me a lot of interesting questions today about building confidence, about learning 21st century skills, how to get over laziness and uh, what to do during lockdown. I'm going to take all of these into consideration and I am going to do different, different, different uh, webinars for you over next week and week after as long as we're stuck we're going to be doing this and maybe even after all right uh, for those of you who wanted uh, brochures we're going to be sending it to you uh, this evening so please take a look at it please tell us if you're interested we'd be happy to get you on board trust me uh, if you talk to students who've done the virtual internship program they love it so i'm telling you you won't regret it make a schedule for yourself parents if you're on this make a schedule with your students may, uh, with your child make it realistic put down things that you need to do put it down in different blocks of time give yourself some time to breathe and to relax don't be too hard on yourself Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.